computer property names like an object literals can be used with the structuring and here they give us this example we have the constant declaration name key that is being assigned to this string z we end up with a semicolon and now we're going to destructure it and the way that we do it is we use the keyword const we open the curly braces inside of the curly braces we have inside of the brackets we have the constant key column and we're gonna and this constant key we're gonna assign it to this local variable named foo so we use the equal sign or the assignment operator and we have this uh, curly braces we have the property z and now we're gonna assign it to this stream bar so we end up with a semicolon and now we're gonna cancel that log this local variable and the result that we're gonna get is not gonna be z the result that we're gonna get is gonna be this stream bar since the constant key is being assigned to this local variable foo and this local variable foo is being uh, is taking the property uh, c and inside and the property c is being assigned to this uh, stream bar and we can check it out we can go to the develop chrome developers tools Control shift i we paste it and there you have it bar and we can make another example uh, let me see let's type in const i don't know let's type a constant declaration name game and we're gonna assign it to this stream uh, uh, playtime we're gonna put a semicolon here we are gonna use the we're gonna destructure it now so we're gonna use a, a set of curly braces and now inside of that we're gonna have a set of brackets inside of the brackets we're gonna pass in the constant name that in our case is game and now we're gonna assign it to a new a local variable and this time it's gonna be I don't know farm let's say uh, okay um, well, what happened here uh, no no that's not what I wanted to do okay playtime is gonna be fun okay so we're gonna we close the the curly braces and now we're gonna use the assignment operator uh, we're we're gonna use a curly braces and inside of that we're gonna have the the stream playtime but we're gonna use it as a property without the the single quote so it's gonna be playtime calling and we're gonna assign into this stream and this stream is gonna be I don't know uh, we can put whatever we want uh, this uh, the structuring assignment I don't know so we put a semicolon at the end and now we're gonna cancel that log cancel that log and we're gonna cancel that log uh, the local variable in this case the local variable that we that we create is fun so we type in fun we type in fun here and the result that we're gonna get is gonna be this stream the structuring assignment so a presenter and there you have it the structuring assignment invalid javascript identifier as a property name the structuring can be used with property names that are not valid javascript identifiers by providing an alternative identifier that is valid so here we have the constant declaration name foo and we assign it to this object and inside of this object we have uh, a key value pair so we have this we have this stream a fees hyphen bus but um, this is this is invalid in javascript we cannot have the key uh, as a stream inside single quotes but 
we put here a colon and then the value is going to be the boolean true we close the curly braces we end up with a semicolon and now we're gonna destructure it we're gonna take from the object foo we're gonna take the property fees bus and we are gonna assign it to the local variable fees bus so in this case we're gonna cancel that lock the local variable fees bus and the result that we are gonna get is the is the value that is being stored in this key fees bus so the result that we're gonna get is the boolean true so even though that there is an invalid javascript identifier it's gonna be it's gonna work because we're gonna be using an alternative identifier that is valid and the alternative identifier that is valid is this local variable name fees bus so we can grab this example we go to the cron developer tools we paste it we press enter and it works it's true and it's working even though you cannot use here uh, you cannot use this is invalid because this is inside single quotes when we destructure it and we use this property and we assign it to this local variable fees bus that is an alternative identifier that is valid so here the structuring primitive values object destructuring is almost equivalent to property accessing this means if you try to destructure a primitive value the value will get wrapped into the corresponding wrapper object and the property is accessed on the wrapper object so here they give us this example we have the cons we have in the curly braces we have the constant a and then to fixed and now we use the equal sign or the assignment operator and then the number one so when we cancel that log the constants a comma to to be or to fixed uh, what we're gonna get is undefined the function to fixed and then curly braces native code so we grab this example here we go to the dev tools we paste it and there we have it undefined the function to fixed and then we have in curly braces this set of brackets native code same as accessing properties the structuring null or undefined throws a type error so here we have um, we're trying to destructure so here can add a structure property a of undefined as it is undefined so here what we're trying to do is uh, the structure the property a of undefined and it's gonna throw us an, an error it's gonna throw us the type error can add the structure property a of undefined as it is undefined and here we have const open curly braces a close curly braces assign null again we're gonna get a type error can add the structure property and this has to be a of null as it is null this happens even when the pattern is empty so here we have the constant uh, curly braces here and this assigned to null so it's gonna get us a type error cannot destructure null as it is null so if we try to do that we grab this example if we go here and we try to do that anco type error cannot destructure null as it is null so combine array and object structuring array and object structuring can be combined say you want the third element in the array props below and then you want the name property and the object you can do the following so here we have this constant declaration name props and we assign it to this array and inside this array we have three objects first object second object third object so in the first object we're gonna have the property id and the value one the property name and the value fees the second object we're gonna have the property id the value two the the property name and the value bus 
and the third object we're going to have the property id and the value 3 the property name and the value fees vas and these values are in single quotes they are strings so now we're going to destructure it and the way we do it is using the keyword cons so we are destructuring from the array props um, right now we're going to use these brackets we're going to use commas this each comma represents an object so this first comma represents this object second comma represents the second object and now we're trying to destructure in front of the array we're trying to destructure the third object and we are grabbing the property and the third object the property name so when we cancel that log the local variable the local variable name the result that we are going to get is going to be the value and the value is going to be fees pass so if we copy this example we go to the Chrome developer tools we paste it and there you have it the result is fees bus and again when we destructure it we take from the array from the array props that has three objects we grab the property name of the third object because each comma represents the first comma represents the first object the second comma represents the second object now we grab the property of the third object and we're gonna we're gonna assign it to this local variable name so when we cancel that log we are gonna get the value of the property in the third object uh, here the prototype chain is lookup when the object is deconstructed when deconstructing an object, if a property is not accessed in itself, it will continue to look up along the property chain. So here we have this constant declaration name OBJ, short for object, and we are assigning it to this object with property self and value a string one two three, the property unders underscore proto uh, double underscore and here we have another object with the property prat and the value stream four five six we close the curly braces of this property of this object we close the curly braces of the object obj and now we're gonna destructure it so we're gonna this we're gonna destructure from the object obj and we're gonna grab the property self and then the property prat that is inside of the da under double underscore proto uh, double under double underscore so the result that we are gonna get is gonna be uh, self one two three and then proto four five six and we're gonna have to access to the prototype change so we can check it out in the Chrome developer tools um, we press enter okay so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to call the object and there you have it we have self and it's one two three the string one two three that is self and now inside of the prototype we're gonna see the prat that is gonna have the string four five six as you can see here